I'm going to try out the new HSB colour sliders in Art Studio Pro 2. Hi everyone, Steve Elliott here again. Art Studio Pro 2 came out this week, so um, I've downloaded that onto my iPad. And the one feature that really interests me is the HSB sliders. Um, you can now have them on the screen all the time while you're working and you can select colors really quick. Uh, so I really like that feature. Another cool feature about it required me to change my um, Art Studio Pro settings back to right-handed mode instead of left-handed because I am left-handed and I usually have the toolbars on the right-hand side so that it um, I can sort of adjust them with the thumb. But what's really cool about this is while you're using your pencil in your drawing, you can have your thumb on the sliders and adjust the colours as you're going. And it's really, really speeded up the um, production of the painting and the selecting of the colours. And you can see here, I mean, you can't actually see my thumb on it, but you can see that the colour sliders are changing all the time. But I'm not stopping painting. I'm keeping painting while I'm selecting the colours. So that is the new tool in Art Studio Pro 2, which I think is uh, awesome. I love it. There's a couple of new cool features, but not really um, aimed at the painter. More the photographer. There's a, a cool depth of field. Uh, blur that you can apply and I've messed around with that but it's more for photography than it is for um, painting and there's some cool new lighting effects so I didn't um, want to uh, demonstrate those really uh, there's, there's other videos you can check out on YouTube if you want to see them uh, if you're into photography but for painting, this slider is the one that really impressed me. And also, the auto save is faster and it didn't um, seem to get in the way of the painting at all, like the old version. So it doesn't appear on, on the face of it that there are a lot of uh, improvements in uh, version 2, but they are very welcome. Um really like it it's sort of taking the app to the next level and if the developer is watching this video if you could add a thick paint um option or mode that would be fantastic uh because the only other app uh, that i know that does that is art rage and it would be so cool if you could add that feature for us so this is really, uh, this painting, let me quickly talk about the painting. It's not really a painting, it's a study, uh, a study of some trees. And uh, I was sort of wanting to sort of catch the light on the leaves. And um, I'm looking at the painting now and I'm thinking, yeah, I kind of got it there. And then the finished one, I may have lost it a little bit. So... So you can always, I'm always looking at these paintings after the event and thinking, I wish I'd have stopped, I wish I'd have stopped there. Although I did put, I think, a rather cool cow in right near the end, um, which uh, I sort of delayed putting in. So at this point, you can see, I thought that was finished. And I think that's a really nice painting at that stage. And then I start going in and messing about and adding more. And I don't know if I've overworked it. I think I like the leaves, but you, you'll notice uh, I will go back into the top left and put some darker colour on that. There we go. And I think that was a bad move. I think I should have um, not, not done that so much. I, th I think it was better when it, when it was lighter. So I might go back and... Uh, adjust the painting but apart from that i've just used um the art studio pro oil painting brush I, i'm not 
I wasn't really into layers or anything. I've not created a lot of layers for this. I did create a, t a, a couple, but merged them down very quickly because this was really a study in uh, just painting those trees. You'll see there I put some real strong darks in just to um, add a bit of uh, depth to the painting, really, right at the end. So um, here we go. I'm just going to crash in the cow now. <laughs> I sort of painted it in as a silhouette and then added a few other colours to sort of mute it down and um, not make it stand out too much. So there we go. That, I'm um, just sort of adding a few bits of grass there, but that is the finished painting. I hope you've liked this quick video on HSB colour sliders in Art Studio Pro 2. If you have, a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I have lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.